Yo guys, what's up? Ryan Quago here, and welcome to my first of many video tutorials for Blade and Soul Revolution. For today's video, I will give you 5 things every beginner should do. Now let's get to it. In Blade and Soul, the first thing that you should do to level up fast is to do the main quest. This is highlighted in yellow on the upper right corner of your screen. This will open new maps for higher levels as the story progress. Aside from the main quest, there are also what we call the side quests, and this is shown highlighted in blue. As the new story unfolds, these quests will prompt and will give you tons of experience, so it is important to complete those quests. Then we have the daily quests. This will also give you a lot of experience. You can view this by going into the main menu, challenge, then go to timed missions. This quest resets every 24 hours or simply by 12 minutes. As a free-to-play gamer, we loved free items, right? Now, there are two free chests that you can get every day. But before that, if you like my content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Blade and Soul Revolution content. As I was saying, there are two free chests that you can get every day. One is the pet chest and the other one is the weapon chest. Simply go to shop. Select pet, then scroll to the far right. Now you will see the watch add button. Click it and watch those people try to survive the zombie apocalypse. After the ad, you will receive a pet chest for free. Same goes to the weapon chest. Go to shop, equipment, then click on the watch ad. Now enjoy your free chest. Now for my last tip for this video is to always do offline hunt when you are about to go to sleep or take a rest. By doing this, you can still get some experience and silver while offline. But be reminded that the experience and the silver will be lessened. Quests are also unavailable in this mode. You will only need to have enough of the required items like healing tonics and pet pods which you can buy in the shop. You can do this by simply going to the main menu and click the offline hunt. So that's it guys, those were my 5 things every beginner should do. Thank you for watching and see you next time.